and uh, glad to have the uh, the pleasure of your company going forward. Here is our starting list for the uh, for the eight skier women's final. We've got uh, uh, Alicia Bagnoli uh, take it to water first, followed by Chelsea Mills, uh, Elizabeth Montavon, Ali Nicholson, and then we'll uh, then the bottom half of the order consists of uh, Manon Costar, uh, Jamie Ball, Whitney McClintock, and Regina Jaquis wind uh, which uh, could uh, pose one or two uh, challenges but let's see what she's got this is Alicia Bagnoli 11.25 meters Kyle yeah we're calling it a slight tailwind but it, yeah there's not much out there at all but it did affect her a little bit there at number two she slipped under, underneath her a little slow and two and a half unfortunately Alicia that's uh, she's gonna be disappointed for sure then she needs to essentially win this event all right Chelsea coming back 38 she's doing it for good water skis out there Coming around number two, this is looking oh, oh she's, she's over out of two. I don't after this event, but let's see. Elizabeth Montavon, 10.75, 39 off. Let's see how far she can get down. Gets a very good gate. A little narrow at one, but she gets a good hookup. Good movements through two. She's early on time. Are we gonna see an S turn? We do. Does she hold it? Weeks. There you around go. Round three, possibly. Whoa. I'm sure they're gonna review it. Yeah, I think that's gonna be yeah. there. We go. 41. Can she get another? two that would be a huge score and put some serious pressure on the four girls remaining it's a bit of a late gate shot she took a little bit of a slack and she's in the water round number one in two competitors through it and one competitor through 39 so far very smooth number one took it a little bit easy there actually and uh, kind of smoothed things out a little bit she's kind of finding her form as we go through these rounds slipped under the handle underneath and number four and oh no she's gone down round five and that is all she wrote from man on and we're looking at the potential of a new Canadian national women's slalom record, but let's see. Yeah, ABC's first. Here we go. There's one. She gets the one and to the wakes and takes the lead in this uh, in this final. She can do it here for you guys today. Let's, let's go. 41 off. All right. Here she comes. 41 off. Round number one takes the snap, and it's a tie. It's a tie for the lead with none other than Jamie Ball but it's extremely difficult at the short 41 off. Can she get it done? Can she time her gates completely right here, which she has done. She's out at number one. It's a little bit of a stop start, but she'll pull all the way to two. There it is, your winner. There it the is. The goes up. It's two buoys at 41 off. And again, Regina Jaquis on the top of the podium. I'm joined here by, uh, by Dorian Llewellyn. And, uh, and I mean, just, just take a look at that. I mean, Regina with the, with the win at two at 10.25 meters. Uh, Whitney McClintock Reaney in second uh, by Superior back up ahead of Jamie Ball also with one Ali Nicholson half on 10.25 meters Lisbeth Montavon in the top five there with a fifth place finish with two at 10.75 meters and then we have Ka we have Costa Bagnoli and Mills in that order. All right, then, final Pro Tour standings uh, brought to you by Clipsed uh, Stereo. And uh, Jamie Ball wins by two points. By two points. Uh, Jamie Ball takes the victory on the, the Pro Tour standings for women's slalom. Regina Jake was in second. Winnie mcclintock Rini with, uh, with third. And Ali Nicholson fourth. And Ali Garcia in fifth. So... Let's, uh, let's check in with the season's long champion on the water ski pro touring women's slalom, Jamie Ball. All right, Jamie. I know it didn't quite come away with the gold here at Travers Pro-Am, but it was enough to seal your fate as the uh, pro tour winner in the women's slalom uh, here in 2023, just by a margin of two points. So uh, talk us through how you felt throughout the season, all these points tournaments and, uh, and what it means to come away on top like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm super excited to come away on top. Um, definitely had a great early summer, I'd say. Like, Europe was, went really well for me, so was able to stack some points there. And then uh, last weekend, a few other events. So, yeah, it's been a great season. Now we got Worlds. It's not part of the Pro Tour, but just everything building up into that. Well, it, it must feel good to kind of seal that victory as the Pro Tour winner here at your home site. Um, and then build momentum going into that world. The women's finals was absolutely amazing, and uh, I'm really looking forward to watching the world championships because that's going to speak to the level of competition. And, uh, Jamie, what a great season. Congratulations, and uh, look forward to seeing you in a few weeks. Thanks so much. All right, back over to you guys. And we'll return to pick up Adam. There's our start list. Adam Sidema kicking it off, three at 41. Corey Vaughan, that, that big three and a quarter. Uh, we'll be out next. Dane Mickler, John Travers, 
Uh, and Brando Caruso all getting to four at 41. Will Asher at five. Nate Smith running that pass. But Freddie Winter, the top scorer of the prelims, one at 43. Coming in, this is Adam Saddlemeyer. Pass number three, 10.75 metres. It's pass number three, but it's right into 39 and a half off. And that is extremely short. He's big lunge at number three. And unfortunately, he's blown the tail. So they're up to 19. I think ranks around the, maybe the third site in the world of, of seeing 41 offs. Can we see another one? Here we go. Let's have a look and see from Corey Vaughn. He's round number one and number two. On number three, S turns, gets to the wake, scores three. Three at 41. Corey Vaughn of three. He's been scoring fours all year round, all year long, sorry. Can he get another one? Can he get a piece of five? Here he comes. It's got a good number one. This is the important offside two. He's folded a little Ooh, bit. He can't hold on. And he folded over one on Bowie number half. two. And it's going to be one and one half Bowie is in. This side definitely is going to allow him to get a really consistent gate. So let's see how he gets through one here. All right, everyone, get on your feet. Get behind JT, Jonathan Travers. He's got a great number one as he approaches two. He hooks up at two. It's hard, but he's still holding on. He's around number three. Can he hold on to it and squeak oh. around? No, just inside four. He gives a big scream, but he's taken the lead. Let's see what he's got. Here he comes, Brando Caruso. Coming to us out of Rome in Italy. Dropping in with uh, this pass at uh, 10.25 meters, more than three is necessary for the lead. Taking a big, big uh, hit there on number two and indeed number three. You know, if he gets a good one, his two is gonna be pretty solid. So let's see. Here he is, Will Asher. Rolling in, entrance gates around buoy number one. Broken over at the waist into number uh, one, but uh, looking good for number two. Oh, on round number three. He's good <sighs> for four, he's taken the lead. He's still there, you know. He's five and to the wakes and he has taken the lead and he finishes at least third spot on the Water Ski Pro Tour men's slalom standings. All right, here we go. This is uh, Nate Smith approaching the course here on 10.25 meters, gets the start. A little more back on the ski, but he's still there on number two. Takes a big chunk out of that one. Here's number three coming in on number four. Five and to the wake, and we'll run this pass, and we'll be guaranteed uh, at least a second place finish. There we go, Nate Smith. Tony, this is Here 43. Let's watch it. Get on your feet, guys. Can he get a piece of two ball? He's around number one, but no, he's just sort of oh, almost, he almost hit the clip. jump. I don't know what's going to happen here. That was. Uh, He's right. coming around the bottom end. Here he Can comes. Can he get it done? Three immediate targets ahead of him. The first one is the score of one and a half of Dane Meckler. Here he comes. There's number one. And number two is past Dane Meckler. Now past the, uh, the three that are tied with three. Now, if he can get past number five, he'll pass Will Asher. And let's see if he can make it through this run. There he oh, goes. That's a lot of slack, takes guys. The he slack takes there. it. Oh my word. Yeah, okay. I think he's gonna go for a kind of a half pie turn at number one, just to secure, secure the full buoy. He can't do the S turn if that ramps gets close to him, but he got he had an experience with this yesterday. He got a full one. Can he do it, it again comes. for us in this final? Freddie Winter, 43 off. He's got one, he S turns. Oh. He takes the hit. Back There's inside, the win. there's our winner. In style, one at 43 off. Two skiers through 41. Great effort there from Freddie Winter. Freddie Winter, your 2023 Travers Pro-Am champ, man, and what a battle it was. Started off with those women all running deep into 39. The men followed suit. Will throwing a 5 at 41, forcing you guys to run that 41 off pass. Uh, Nate went off there first, came up with a half. Talk me through that 41, what you were feeling, you know, after three ball when it was in the sight uh, to run that thing. Um, uh, Freddie Kruger told me a couple weeks ago, and he, you know, he's, he ought to focus on the inputs, not the outputs. So I've just been focusing on my gait. Ronnie Barton tells me to keep my hip up. So I did that and then one, two were good. I think three was fine. I don't remember after that, but I remember just thinking, don't fall at five and don't fall at six. And then here was, don't fall at one. But it's, what a ride, man. That's, that's why we do this. Hey man, that was some really spectacular seeing. And uh, I think I heard Tony saying one of the uh, top pro performances we've had from a men's final all season long and then have two of you guys through 41 battling it out at 43 for the win um, and, and taking home gold. Uh, congratulations, Freddie. Yeah, man, it's, it's a lot to unpack, actually. I mean, so I had seven seconds behind Nate this year, yeah. seven. And, and 
I was on the podium every pro tournament this year. I wanted to finish it well. So that's, that's the best way to finish. I mean, it's the last tournament we can get paid at this year, which is great. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're back here in a few weeks, but different kind of deal. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. What a day, what a day. Happy, happy. Well, Freddie, congratulations. And uh, it's been nice talking with you guys. Congratulations to all the competitors out here. Some amazing skiing. And uh, we'll see you guys at the World Champions in a few weeks. And I know we got some more events going on, some awards. So I'll pass it back over to the guys behind the booth. Yeah, okay, let's have a look at the uh, the final slalom leaderboard of the professional season. Freddie Winter with a one at 9.75 meters, Nate Smith with half at 9.75, and in third place, uh, Will Asher with five at uh, 10.25 meters. Then in a tied fourth, uh, it is uh, uh, Jonathan Travers and Brando Caruso. Perfect tie all the way from start to finish with those two, so well done. Uh, Corey Vaughan in six, a uh, Dame Meckler seventh, uh, uh, and Adam Saddlemeyer in eighth. So that concludes that. Here is the final Pro Tour standings. Nate Smith on 284 takes the season long win. Uh, Freddie Winter on 272. And uh, Will Asher in third place, leapfrogging Thomas De Gasperi at the very last breath there on 193. De Gasperi on 190. Dame Meckler in fifth with a 135. And uh, the Eclipse Marine uh, final slalom standings right there. You can see at waterskiprotour.com. So far as the brand leaderboard goes, let's take a look at that uh, one more time. Syndicate comes away with the win with 624. Syndicate uh, featuring Ali Nicholson, Jamie Ball, and uh, Will Asher. The D3 brand with 521 in second. The good brand in, uh, in third. Then Radar Skis, Lapointe, and finally Conley. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the winner of the 2023 Travers Grand Prix, the one, the only, Regina Jaquis! And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the winner and 2023 Travers Grand Prix champion, Freddie Winter! And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the award in absentia for the 2023 Water Ski Pro Tour Women's Jump Leaderboard brought to you by John K. Phillips Group Limited with a score total of 166 points, Hannah Stroltsova! Hannah Stroltsover not here to receive the award, so I'll make sure that it's driven back to Zachary, Louisiana, and I'll present it to her myself. And ladies and gentlemen, presenting his award in absentia with a score of 176 points, the 2023 Water Ski Pro Tour Men's Jump Leaderboard once again presented to you by John K. Phillips Group Limited, Freddy Krueger. With a score of 268 points, winning it by just two points, your champion from Canada, Jamie Bow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the 2023 Water Ski Pro Tour Men's Slalom Leaderboard, brought to you by Clips Marine Audio, with an outstanding score of 284 points, your winner and champion for 2023, Nate Smith.
because it's the award for the brand leaderboard champions and it's presented by the water ski broadcasting company in this season long battle between the brands the brand that prevails in this year is the team syndicate brand the team syndicate managed by dave wingerter and consisting of Ali Nicholson, Jamie Ball, and Will Asher. Right, who gets to hold this and who gets to speak? Which one gets the microphone? Will. Ali loves to play. You want to talk, Ali? Do you want to talk, Jamie? Oh, boy. All right, so this is kind of a new addition to the Pro Tour this year. Really excited, uh, proud of our team, kind of uh, compiled everything for the year. So I have no idea. Anybody else want to say anything? Yeah, I would, I would like to thank our team, uh, especially the girls here. They put up like uh, scores every single weekend and um, killed it. And I would like to thank uh, HO Syndicate for supporting us and just creating a product that will kind of allow us to just go out every weekend and do our best. Um, and just thanks for the TWBC and everyone and all the work and the Travis family for holding this last part. And um, I don't know. Killed it. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, not short on words, are you, Jamie? Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up, please, for the syndicate brand by HO Sports, Ali Nicholson, Jamie Ball, and Will Asher.